This e-training video is designed to aid Erdos Apollo data managers and users on how to publish Erdos Imagine spatial models to the Erdos Apollo system for general or secured use. To replicate the workflow seen in this video and for more information, download and review the Erdos Imagine Geoprocessing and Erdos Apollo tutorial from the Erdos Apollo section of the Hexagon Geospatial Community site. Spatial models created in Erdos Imagine need to be modified before they can be published and used in Erdos Apollo. Here is a resolution merge model that has been constructed in Erdos Imagine. If you wish to learn how to create this model, please review the e-training video, Create a Spatial Model in Erdos Imagine. We can see that operators in the Spatial Modeler are used to chain workflows together for processing inputs to generate outputs. The raster input and raster output operators used in this model have to have their port input operators parameterized in order to work in Erdos Apollo. Typically, in the desktop workflow environment, the raster input and raster output operators specify local paths to input and output files directly. If published to the Erdos Apollo server, these models will not be able to be executed for data other than the file paths these were published with. As can be seen currently in the model, the raster input 1 and 2, as well as the raster output, have defined image file names to be used. This model now needs to be modified so it will work with the other datasets instead of the defined ones. In the Spatial Model Editor, select from the Operator section Input, Port, Port Input. Drag and drop the port next to the raster input operator. Replicate this process to place a second port next to the raster input operator. Connect the port input 1 operator to the raster input operator and do the same thing for raster input 2. Double click the port input 1 operator. Change the name from port input 1 to high res image. There is also an option to type in a description that explains what type of image should be selected by the user as well as an option to add keywords. This will allow the model, once published, to search the Erdos Apollo catalog for datasets containing these keywords for use in the model. In the supported data types, leave the default imagine.file and click the OK button to close the dialog box. We are going to do the same process with the port input 2 operator, changing the name from port input 2 to low res multispec, as well as adding a description and keywords to the port properties. An additional port is then added and connected to the raster output operator. Double click on the port input 3 operator and change the name to output. Leave the other sections alone and click the OK button. Double click the raster input operator and in the file name section click the X to remove or undefine the file associated with the raster input and click the OK button. Repeat this process for raster input too. Do this as well for the raster output operator but notice it has a clear option instead of an X. Next, select the Processing Properties, which is found in the Spatial Modeler tab in the Model section. Select the Operator Info tab in the Processing Properties dialog. The Namespace section will remain blank. However, in the Name section, give the model a unique name. When naming the model for users to find, the display name section should be given a user-friendly name which will make it easy for a user to find and understand. In this instance, Resolution Merge will be used. In the Display Category section, define a category for this model to be placed under. This model will be placed in the category Image Enhancement. If this category does not already exist, it will be created once the model is published to Erdos Apollo. Leave the icon section with its default entry or leave it blank. 
The description section should contain an explanation or abstract of what the model is doing as well as any constraints or information the user may need to know prior to selecting the data and running the model. Once the information has been added, click the OK button to close the Processing Properties dialog box. Click the Save icon in the Erdos Imagine toolbar or click Ctrl plus S to save the model. Once a model has been modified to work inside an Erdos Apollo instance, it must be uploaded from the Spatial Modeler and for that an existing connection to the instance is needed. To connect to an Erdos Apollo instance, select the Home tab from the Erdos Imagine ribbon bar and click Add Views. Select Create New 2D View and a new 2D viewer will open alongside the Spatial Model Editor window. With the 2D View window activated, go to the File tab in the Erdos Imagine ribbon. Select Open and then select the Web Service option. The GeoServices Explorer window will display. Right mouse click on the Catalog Services and select the Add Service option. In the GeoService Connection setup, choose Erdos Apollo Catalog from the GeoService Type pull-down. In the Host Name section, input the URL to the Erdos Apollo server the model will be uploaded to. Also include the username and password if required. Please note that the user logging in must have the correct permissions in Erdos Apollo in order to publish a model. Click on the Test button to confirm that Erdos Imagine can connect to the Erdos Apollo instance. If successful, a message will display confirming connection capability. Click OK to close the test message window. Click on the OK button in the GeoService Connection setup to connect to the instance and to close the dialog box. The Erdos Apollo server should now be seen in the GeoServices Explorer dialog. Close the GeoServices Explorer window and close the 2D view in Erdos Imagine. The Erdos Apollo server that was set up in the GeoServices Explorer will now appear as a server option in the Select Erdos Apollo Server for Publishing dialog box. Once the server to publish has been selected, click the OK button to publish the model. Once the model has been uploaded, the Erdos Apollo Administrator or Data Managers can then review the model and set security of the model for use within an organization. The model also needs to be tested inside of the Erdos Apollo Geospatial Portal to make sure that it runs and produces output. Open the Erdos Apollo Data Manager and log into the instance the model was uploaded to. In the Data Manager Explorer tab, select and open the Processes section. Locate the Image Enhancement process and the Res Merge model should be seen. Select the Res Merge model from the Processes section and examine the information about the model in the Properties tab. Notice that only the description and title of the model are the only properties which can be modified. All other information is locked and is populated with the information from the model properties itself when published from Erdos Imagine. To change information in these locked fields, the model properties must be edited in Erdos Imagine, saved, and republish to Erdos Apollo. Back in the Explore tab, right-click on the Res Merge model. Two choices are presented, Delete and Security. Select the Security option. The Security option will open the Process Security dialog box. From here, the Erdos Apollo Administrator or Data Manager can set the security and assign users and or roles that will allow for the model to run from the Erdos Apollo Geospatial Portal. General users only need the read and execute permissions set to run models. Click the OK button to apply any security selected. Once the models have been uploaded and verified in Erdos Apollo, it is time to run them and review the results generated from the Erdos Apollo Geospatial Portal. Choose and open an Internet browser, such as Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, and open the Erdos Apollo Geospatial Portal. For this example, the public Erdos Apollo demo server will be used. If required, click on the Authentication tab and log into the portal. Select the Geoprocessing panel on the left side of the portal. The Image Enhancement Processes folder 
created when the model was published should be present along with the model. Click on the Resolution Merge Model and then the Select link. A new tab opens in the Geoprocessing panel called Selected. It will display the model name as well as description along with any fields that need to be populated for the model to run. In this example, the model will require a high-res image and a low-res multispectral image. The results panel in the portal will also display two tabs. The tabs represent the required inputs to run the model. These tabs may or may not be populated with data returns based off the requirements built into the model published, such as keywords. Besides using the information located in the input tabs, the user can also use the Browse Erdos Apollo Catalog panel to navigate to datasets, select, and use that selection as the inputs for the model. In the Input High Res Image tab, select the record for the pan image. Then using the Add as Input pull-down menu, select the High Res Image option. Also, Click the Add to Map option and click the Extents link to zoom to the area of interest. In the Input Low Res Multispec tab, select a record for the multispectral image as the Low Res Multispec input into the model. After all the input fields have been populated, click on the Execute option. Click the My Process tab. This will give the user a status and progress meter showing the progression of the model as it runs. It will also show any errors if there is a problem with the model or the inputs. When the model has finished running successfully, the record will turn green. Select the record and click the Show Result option. The output image will display in the Results panel under the Output tab. The image is given a generic name and can be added to the map view or selected and downloaded to the user's local machine. This concludes Erdos Imagine Geoprocessing and Erdos Apollo eTraining video. For more information concerning Erdos Apollo functionality, please review other course offerings, tutorials, eTraining videos, or contact your local Hexagon Geospatial representative.